the Fox Tech Cluster Schools present the candidates for graduation. Ladies and gentlemen, will you please rise for our national anthem presented to us by John Anthony Bernal Trevino. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Pledge of Allegiance will be led by our senior class secretary, Jacqueline Munoz. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The pledge to the Texas flag will be led by our senior class vice president, Justin Manjares. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas one state under God, one and indivisible. And now, our invocation will be given by senior class historian, Vanessa Garcia. Please let us bow our head. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us together for this joyous celebration of our accomplishments for the Fox Tech Senior Class of 2013. We ask that you bless our families and our friends for all the love and support that they provided us as we went through our trials and tribulations. We also ask that you bless the teachers who have dedicated countless hours to ensure we understood the classroom material. Thank you for our friendships we created over the years. May we never forget that though we will not see each other every day, we are only a phone call away. As we commence on this day and move forward with our lives, we ask for the grace to make a difference for good wherever we may find ourselves in the years ahead. In this name, and we ask, amen. Please be seated. Good evening to everyone present, parents, family, friends, and all of the faculty and staff, and especially to you, the Fox Tech High School graduating class of 2013. 
I am Isaac Gonzalez, Senior Class President. I now have the privilege of introducing this evening's guest. Representing the San Antonio Independent School District Board of Education, Ed Garza, President, District 7. Mr. Garza was elected to the board in May 2009 and re-elected in May 2013 for a four-year term. He is a third-generation SAISD graduate and a graduate of the Thomas Jefferson High School. He earned a bachelor de bachelor's degree in landscape architecture, urban planning, and a master of science degree in land development from Texas A&M University. Mr. Garza previously served two terms on the city council and two terms as mayor of San Antonio. Mr. Garza's current term expires in 2017. Olga M. Hernandez, Secretary, District 6. Mrs. Hernandez was elected to the board in May 2006 and proudly represents the people of the Thomas Edison Cluster. She is a lifelong SAISD resident, a graduate of Thomas Jefferson High School, and an SAISD retiree. Mrs. Hernandez, her husband, and two daughters are all proud products of SAISD. Her term expires in 2015. Arthur J. Valdez, Jr., District 4. Mr. Valdez was elected to the board on May 2013 for a four-year term. He is a lifelong resident of SAISD District 4. He and his wife of 45 years, as well as his three children, are all graduates of Burbank High School. His two grandchildren currently attend Collins Garden High School. Mr. Valdez is employed as an aircraft systems engineer whose career has spanned more than 40 years in both civil and U.S. Air Force military air aircraft. He credits the technical and vocational training he re received at SAISD Burbank High School that helped pave the way for his career. Mr. Valdez's current term expires in 2017. James Howard, trustee, District 2. Mr. Howard was elected to the board in May 1998 and re-elected in 2002 and 2006. He is an employee relations specialist for the Texas American Federation of Teachers and a past member of the board of directors for the Texas Association of School Boards. He is a product of SAISD and an, an alumnus of Prairie View A&M University where he majored in music education. He has two children who are both SAISD graduates. Mr. Howard served as the first African-American chairman of the board in the history of SAISD. His current term expires in 2015. Deborah Guerrero, trustee, District 3. Ms. Guerrero was elected to the board on May 11, 2013, after having served, served an unexpired term for the last year. She is a fifth generation SAISD resident. Ms. Guerrero earned a bachelor's degree in political science from St. Mary's University, a master's degree in political science from St. Mary's University, a master of public affairs degree from the Lyndon Baines Johnson School of Public Affairs, and a doctorate of jurisprudence from the University of Texas School of Law. She has served in leadership positions in community and civic organizations throughout the city including two terms on the San Antonio City Council from 1997 to 2001. Currently, Ms. Guerrero works with the NRP Group as a multifamily developer. Ms. Guerrero's current term expires in 2017. Steve Leshlow, District 1. Mr. Leshlow was elected to the Board of Trustees in May 2013. He is currently employed as an attorney as at Rothenthal Pierstein Sandalowski Agather LLP, where his practice focuses on corporate litigation and corporate bankruptcy. Mr. Leshlow is a former teacher and a Teach for America alumnus. He earned a BBA in finance from the Business Honors Program at the University of Texas at Austin, an MA in teaching from the Johns Hopkins University, and a doctorate of jurisprudence from the Southern Methodist University Deadman School of Law. Mr. Leshlow's current term expires in 2017. <laughs> Patty Ratto, trustee, District 5. 
Mrs. Rado, excuse me, was elected to the Board of Trustees in May of 2011. She is a graduate of Marquette University with a major in theology. She obtained her teacher and bilingual certification and a second major in English from Our Lady of the Lake University and holds an honorary doctorate from the Oblate School of Theology. Mrs. Radel taught elementary in, two, in SAISD for 12 years and taught high school and middle school in other districts. She served on the San Antonio City Council from 2003 to 2007. Ms. Rado has also served with her husband as the volunteer director of inner, inner city development since 1972. Her current term expires in 2015. And our superintendent, Dr. Sylvester Perez, on May 20th, 2013, the Board of Trustees voted to name our interim superintendent, Dr. Sylvester Sil Perez, as the lone finalist for SAISD superintendent. A native of San Antonio, Dr. Perez has provided more than 39 years of service to Texas school children, including 13 years as superintendent. He currently is an adjunct professor with the University of Texas at Austin's Cooperative Superintendents Program. I would also like to take this time to recognize our other SAISD Central Office staff and platform guests with us tonight. Mr. Emilio Castro, Deputy Superintendent for Teaching and Learning. Ms. Sylvia Garza, Assistant Stu Superintendent of High Schools. Mr. Jose Moreno, Assistant Superintendent of Ele Elementary Schools. Mi Ms. Carmen Vasquez Gonzalez, Executive Director of Government and Community Relations. Mr. Marco Zarolo, Chief Information Officer. And Mr. David Yudovich, Executive Director of Secondary Initiatives. And our former and current Fox Tech High School Administrators. Our former principal, Ms. Dawn Parker, Our interim principal, Ms. Sarah Croft. And our new principal, Ms. Annette Castillo. Half a score and three years ago, our parents brought us into our first school building a new home conceived in freedom and dedicated to the concept that education is the great equalizer. First of all, let me thank you, all of you, and not for the gracious applause while we walked out here, but for helping us get here. I want to thank all of my friends and future alumni for making this experience great. I want to thank all my teachers and everybody on that faculty staff over there for putting up with all of us. I want to thank all my aunts and uncles up there for not distancing themselves and showing me what a true family really is. I want to thank my stepfather for helping bless me with my wonderful baby brothers and keeping my mother happy. I want to thank my grandfather for stepping in as my father when I needed one growing up. My grandmother for driving me around before I did so illegally and waking up every single morning with me to help me get through this and my mother for every single sacrifice she has made to get me here. And thank you to each and every one of my 10 cousins and three brothers up there who gave me a reason to do this. I would not be standing in this very position had it not been for all of you here today. Thank you. Now, my first steps onto the ground of the Lewis W. Fox Academic and Technical High School were those of an innocent boy. And I say boy because, well, at the time, I was ignorant of the new world I was stepping into. But as many, as many of you did, I soon adjusted. My freshman year was much like many of yours, fun. From losing every single pep rally to watching our first and last chili bowl, it was fun. We lost the traditions of those who came before us, and we lost the number of our classmates exponentially, and I wish I was kidding. 
But I am delighted to say, just as many of you are, that although we had to give up the tradition, and although we had to give up the numbers, and even though we had the opportunity to leave, we did not give up that opportunity of coming to this great school. Sure, we may have lost a lot, but I believe with great confidence that we made up for it. And I don't know about you guys, but when I walk out of this facility, I will be proud to say that I'm a Fox Tech graduate. I want... <laughs> I want to know if you guys are as nervous as I am. Because in a matter of minutes, when we step out of this dome, we step out into the real world. We step out into a world that is cruel, a world that is relentless, a world that does not sleep, a world that seems as if it is out to get us, but a world that is ours for the taking. Do not be indifferent. Although earlier I said it's been a great run, as Juan Mendoza reminded me earlier, this is just the beginning. The run is not over yet. Many of us will head right back into the run after receiving, receiving their diploma. Many of us will wait the summer before continuing the run. Nevertheless, the run does not stop here. We can either stop and let the world get the better of us, or we can stampede our way into success. With every one terrorist hurting innocent civilians, there are wonderful people who are willing to help rebuild their lives. With every child in the need of help, there are wonderful people donating what they can. With every storm, every tragedy, every obstacle faced by fellow humans, there are wonderful people that help them get past it. And I know this will be the last time I see many of you for all the years to come. So I have but one request. Be wonderful people. Good luck to all of you out there. Congratulations for getting here and for where you will be going. And let's have a great evening. Once again, thank you all for giving me this opportunity. God bless. And now, it is my honor and privilege to introduce to you the woman who has put up with all of us, our interim principal, Ms. Sarah Croft. Thank you, Isaac. Um, this has been an unusual year for Fox Tech High School for health and law professions. As in every story, there's always a beginning, a middle, and an end. And as we look back on the academic year of 2012-13, many events and many accomplishments have taken place for this school. The school year began with Ms. Dawn Parker as your principal, and on September 7th, Fox Tech High School was named a 2012 National Blue Ribbon School by the United States Department of Education, the only school in San Antonio, and just one of 18 in Texas. and also only one of 269 schools named station, uh, nationwide. This honor recognizes campuses based on their overall academic excellence and making dramatic improvement in student academic achievement levels. Fox Tech High School staff and student representatives accepted this award during a special recognition ceremony in Washington, D.C. Additionally, during this year, Fox Tech High School received the 2012 College Readiness Award for significant increases in student composite scores for the ACT, a National College Readiness Exam. The Fox Tech High School UIL academic team received second place overall in team academics, second only to Brennan of the Northside Independent School District and first place of all SAISD schools. They also won champion overall in journalism events, champion in current issues, Lincoln-Douglas debate, computer applications, and speech. We also had a student advance to the state competition in speech for the first time in more than 20 years. As for the seniors in the group, they won more than six spots at a regional competition. Earlier this year, the Laura Bush Foundation for America's Libraries announced that 212 school libraries across the state were awarded over a million dollars in grants for 2013. Each school received grants of $5,000 to expand, update, and diversify their library book collections. I'm happy to announce that Fox Tech High School was the only high school 
and San Antonio to receive a Laura Bush Library Foundation grant. And just recently, on June 5th, Mayor Julian Castro made a surprise visit to our school to announce that our senior class of 2013 had, done, had again outdone all schools in the city by receiving the Cafe College Mayor's Challenge Award for recognition of their commitment to being a college-going campus. 92% of our class of 2013 has completed all requirements for admitted to a college or university of their choice. I think lastly, it's important once again to note that this group of students chose to stay at Fox Tech High School and they could have chosen to go to any high school of their choice. They have made sacrifices to stay. One such was our extracurricular teams. This meant no more football, no more chili bowl, no marching band, no cheerleaders, and many other opportunities were lost for student participation. I want to comment also that the girls and boys soccer athletes chose to stay, these seniors, at Fox Tech despite making the playoffs in 2010, 11, and 12. Some of those seniors were on those teams and they chose to stay right here with this class and graduate from, Tech, from Fox Tech High School. I commend you all for your loyalty to this school. At the conclusion of this ceremony, this school will begin its first year as a standalone magnet high school for health and law professions. It will be led by a new principal and to a new beginning. I congratulate you all, class of 2013. It is now my privilege to introduce the top two scholars for the Fox Tech class of 2013. Our 2013 salutatorian is Jacqueline Munoz. Jacqueline has maintained a high GPA while taking challenging AP and dual credit courses. She is a member and officer of various extracurricular activities, including president of the National Honor Society, vice president of political thinkers, lead attorney of mock trial, member of the varsity volleyball team, honors member of the academic decathlon team, and a member of the student board of directors of the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas, San Antonio branch. In addition to her extracurricular responsibilities, even with her busy schedule, she finds time to volunteer with the organizations like HEB's Feast of Giving, Lupus Golf Tournament, Jimenez Thanksgiving Dinner, and with the Special Olympics. Jacqueline is a third year secretary for the class of 2013, and she will attend the University of Texas at Austin, where she will study business and psychology in preparation for a career as an immigration attorney. With great pleasure, I now present to you Jacqueline Munoz, our Fox Tech 2013 Salutatorium. Will the proud parents of Jacqueline Munoz please stand and be recognized? Jacqueline's parents. Good evening, parents, guardians, teachers, honored guests, and class of 2013. This moment has been anticipated by every one of us since, ever since we first set foot on campus. We all impatiently waited the moment we got to cross the stage. But four years ago, none of us knew our high school years were going to be this different from that of students in other high schools. 
We entered high school as little freshmen, the ones at the bottom of the food chain. But we entered a campus full of spirit and pride. Everybody was excited over Chili Bowl, and as that day came around, we all understood what the commotion was about. As sophomore year came, our football program was discontinued, and we witnessed our class size reduced by half. Our junior year sort of dragged because we all knew that this would be the last year that our school would have sports that required a large team. And we all anticipated the changes being made the next year. Finally, our senior year came around and we were finally the leaders of the campus. But senior year was not what we had thought it would be our freshman year. Looking back at the journey that we have taken, we are the class that has endured the most changes, but we are also the class that has embraced the most change. We didn't have the luxuries of other schools. After freshman year, everyone noted a drastic change in the mood at Fox Tech. And as the years progressed, our numbers dwindled down to 150 students in the class of 2013. The Fox Tech class of 2013 has experienced many unique struggles, but despite the obstacles presented, 150 of us have been able to overcome them. We have something to be proud of, and we have a story that should be told. Every one of us will come across struggles that might be similar or completely different than what we experienced in high school. After we graduate and start our, on our own separate paths, we might not see each other again, but we will always have one unifying element that will keep us as one family. Even 10 years from today, we will still be supporting each other because we will all be a buffalo from the last herd. I am honored to say that I will soon be a graduate of the last herd. We have had multiple principals and we have had many teachers come and go, but many of those teachers encouraged us to never give up and played a significant role in our lives. They acted as a family away from home and whatever the problem was, we always had at least one teacher we knew we could count on. As students, we all really appreciate all the hard work that you have put into us. Thank you all very much for that. And also through all the struggles and the triumphs, our parents and guardians have still managed to stand by us, and I want to thank all of them for that. But I especially want to thank my parents and younger brother who encouraged me to go beyond what I believed I was capable of. They put up with my moodiness, drove me to early morning practices and summer sessions, helped me to their best ability on whatever I needed, and most important of all, I am very grateful to them for just being patient with me. Quiero especialmente agradecer a mis padres, a quien les debo todos mis logros. Quiero que sepan que todos sus sacrificios valieron la pena. Quiero que sepan que todos los riesgos que ustedes corrieron ha sido la razón de mi éxito académico. Estos éxitos me han motivado para que no me dé por vencida y siempre de lo mejor de mí. Sus historias son las cuales me motivan y quiero que sepan que sus esfuerzos siempre los agradeceré. No hay palabras que pueden describir el agradecimiento que siento por ustedes. Gracias por todo. Los amo mucho. And so, you can't have a future without having a past. Eventually, the memories will fade, the school will be reconstructed, and we will all go on independently. But we will always be the building blocks of Fox Tech. With the transition that the school is making, most people have forgotten about the seniors, about the last traditional class, but despite it all, we still manage to hold our heads high and become great leaders of the school. As we go on with our lives, we, we cannot forget all the people that have helped us get where we are. We cannot forget our past because no matter how sad or great our past was, it molded us into who we are today. I want to congratulate you all on all of your hard work that brought you to this one day. We are the last herd, and after today, we are free to roam wherever. I just hope we all go on to roam onto green pastures. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our 2013 valedictorian is Sandra Ramirez. Sandra Ramirez has maintained a high GPA while taking AP and dual credit courses. She is a member of the Varsity Mariachi Group, President of Youth Against Gang Activity, Vice President of the National Honor Society, a member of UT Outreach, Political Thinkers, and the Student Representative in the Student Advisory Committee. Sandra was one of 12 students selected to attend the 20 National 
2012 excuse me, National Blue Ribbon Ceremony in Washington, D.C. this past November and has had the honor of going on stage and receiving the plaque for Fox Tech. Sandra will be attending Texas A&M University and College Station this coming fall to pursue her dream of one day becoming a school principal. And now with great pleasure, I present to you Sandra Ramirez, our Fox Tech High School valedictorian. Will the proud parents of Sandra Ramirez stand to be recognized at this time? Good evening, honored guests, faculty, family, friends, and of course, fellow graduates of the greatest class in the history of Fox Tech High School, class of 2013. <laughs> Before I begin, I want to say that I would like to dedicate this speech in honor of Ms. Garcia. May she rest in peace and forever be in our hearts. Thanks to teachers like her, we are sitting here today after 12 long, slow years of homework, tests, and even cafeteria food. <laughs> we have all made it this far, thanks to the support of our parents, teachers, and friends, but most importantly, because of our decisions to work hard and to, <clears throat> to achieve our greatest potential. From choosing to wake up early or press the snooze button on our alarm, to choosing what college or university you will attend, all decisions have consequences that will impact our future in some way or another. It is not easy to always make the right decisions, but choosing to do well in school and making sure you are graduating here today is definitely a very wise one. Like Shauna Nequis wrote, it's not hard to decide what you want to do, what you want your life to be about. What's hard, she said, is figuring out what you're giving, willing to give up in order to, the, to do the things you really care about. Many changes occurred during these past four years at Fox Tech, and every single change, whether good or bad, has helped us prepare for the world after high school. I never imagined that I would be in this position, on stage, giving a speech on graduation day, but here I am. And like many of you, I have account accomplished many things thanks to the help received at Fox Tech. I'm so proud to say that among us, Seniors, there are five Bomberger Endowment recipients, a Gates Millennium Scholar, and many other scholarship recipients. On behalf of the graduating class, I would like to thank all of our teachers, administrators, faculty, family, and friends for all your support to getting us where we are today. Quiero darle las gracias a mis padres y a mi hermana por todo el amor que me han dado para ayudarme a realizar mis sueños y el apoyo que me dan diariamente para poder seguir adelante. Los quiero mucho. After today, our journey to the real world begins. I would like to congratulate every one of you for all your accomplishments and wish you the best of luck in your future. We are the last herd and we made it. Congratulations, class of 2013. Thank you. This evening, Fox Tech High School is proud to recognize the following students for their achievements. Graduates, as I call and honor you for your achievements, please stand and be recognized. Our top 10 graduates, a GPA of 95% or higher. Thank you, you may be seated. Our cum laude graduates, achieved a GPA between 90 and 94 percent. Will you please rise? Thank you. You may be seated. Distinguished Achievement Diploma graduates, please rise.
Thank you. You may be seated. National Honor Society graduates, please rise. Thank you. You may be seated. Our Law and Research Magnet School graduates, please rise. Thank you. You may be seated. Our Gamma Sigma girls, our young ladies who participated in the Fox Tech Girl Scouts chapter of Southwest Texas, please rise. Thank you. You may be seated. Fox Tech is a proud participant of the San Antonio Education Partnership, sponsored by the City of San Antonio and SAISD. This organization awards thousands of dollars to graduates that maintain a B average and 95% attendance throughout their school years. Seniors who are receiving this scholarship, please stand and be recognized at this time. Thank you and be seated. This evening we also honor our class of Texas Scholars. The Texas Scholars Program recognizes students who have accomplished and studied under the recommended high school program. Would all the students who, pre who were presented a Texas Scholars graduation medallion and have earned the recommended high school diploma, please stand now and be recognized as well. Thank you. You may be seated. See, standing up is good. At this time, any senior who has been accepted to and plans to attend a college or university, please stand. Thank you. Be seated. And finally, any senior that is enlisted in our military service, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. You may be seated. The scholarships awarded to this class of 2013 is nearly $2.5 million. Will the whole class of 2013 please stand at this time? Mr. Garza, San Antonio ISD Board of Education, and Dr. Pettis, I do hereby certify that all of the students standing before you this evening have met the state requirements for completion of high school and graduation from Lewis W. Fox Technical and Academic High School. Mr. Garza. I'm sorry, Ms. Radel. Uh, you can be seated. I know I don't look like Mr. Garza, but... <laughs> I'm Patty Radel, and I represent a lot of the schools that have been the feeders by tradition uh, to the Fox Tech High School. So, Buffaloes, you're called the last herd, the last herd of the traditional Fox Tech. Very special position, one that you'll always be remembered for. I know there are previous herds here tonight of the traditional Fox Tech. And I wonder if they would stand and be recognized. Anybody who graduated formally from Fox Tech, please stand. Yes, give them a big hand. Woo! So I know that it's special and very memorable to be the last class, but I think we all recognize that it's also an emotional challenge because you do see an end to some of the traditions and the one most often mentioned being the chili bowl. So we're grateful to people like Dr. Orozco and Senator Joe Bernal from Fox Tech and Lanier who continue the spirit of that tradition through the annual Chile Gala where they raised thousands and thousands of dollars for scholarships for the students of Lanier and Fox Tech. A herd is a group that travels together, right? And you've been traveling together for four years. But with tonight, you'll be going out into the open pastures and you will roam as far and in any place 
that your energy, your skills, your talents, your dreams, and your will will take you. I ask you that as you travel out there in the wide open pastures of the world, that you are true to the things that you love. When you pay attention to the things that you love, in doing those things, you find what you are called to do in this life. You find your purpose, because the things you love to do are usually the things that you're good at. So pay attention to those things and nurture them. And as I ask you to be true to the things you love in life, be true to the people you love in life. And think of how they have nurtured you. Special gratitude to parents, of course. But I want you to think of somebody in your life who you know has been very special to you for the way they've nurtured you. And I want you to think about the things that they have expected of you. And I ask you to be true to those things, things of character, honesty, and courage, and loving others. I always like to suggest that as you go through life that you hang around with somebody who makes you laugh. It gets you through a lot. But hang around with people who expect the best of you. Graduates, I congratulate you for your great accomplishment tonight. We look forward to what you're going to offer the world. The open pasture awaits you, buffaloes. So when you leave here tonight, stampede out into the challenges of the world in a way that shows that you are ready to meet whatever you are destined to do. Go forward in grace and peace and do the greatest good and love everyone around you. Congratulations to you and your families. Felicidades. Now, if you would stand. By the authority vested in me as a member of the San Antonio Independent School District Board of Trustees, I hereby accept the recommendation of the faculty and administration of Lewis W. Fox Academic and Technical High School and declare the assembled candidates qualified for the award about to be presented. On behalf of the Board of Education, I would like to extend my personal congratulations to each member of the Fox Tech High School class of 2013 and wish you continued success. At this time, presentation of diplomas will be made by the San Antonio ISD Board of Education. And Helica Lozano, Fox Tech Lead Counselor, will read the names and awarded scholarships of our graduating seniors. Graduating number one in, our, in the class, our, our valedictorian, recipient of the Baumberger Endowment Scholarship, the Texas A&M University College Station Regents Scholarship, the Texas A&M University College Station Century Scholar Award, the Texas A&M University College Station Top 10% State Scholarship, the San Antonio Area Foundation Rapier Educational Fund, the Fox Tech High School Class of 1964 Gala Scholarship, 
the Carl N. and Margaret Karcher Founders Scholarship and the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending Texas A&M University College Station, Sandra A. Ramirez. Graduating number two in the class, our salutatorian and senior class secretary, recipient of the Gates Millennium Scholars Program, the Bomberger Endowment Scholarship, the Ronald McDonald Scholarship, the University of Texas at Austin Exemplary President's Achievement Scholarship, the University of Texas at Austin President's Achievement Enrichment Scholarship, the University of Texas at Austin Top 10% State Scholarship, the Texas A&M University College Station Regent Scholarship, the Texas A&M College Station Century Scholarship, the Texas A&M University College Station Academic Scholarship Study Abroad Program, Texas Lutheran University Presidential Scholarship Award, the Texas Tech University Presidential Scholarship Award, the University of the Incarnate Word Dean Scholarship, the St. Mary's University Trustee Scholarship, the University of Texas at San Antonio Henry Romo Memorial Endowment, the University of Texas at San Antonio Top 10% State Scholarship, the Andy Mireles Charitable Foundation Scholar, the San Antonio Bar Association Essay Contest Scholarship, and the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship. We'll be attending the University of Texas at Austin, Jacqueline Munoz. <laughs> Graduating number three in the class, Ryan Aranda. <laughs> Graduating number four in the class, recipient of the University of the Incarnate Word Distinguished Scholar Award, the Texas Lutheran University Academic Excellence Award, the Fox Tech High School Class of 1964 Gala Scholarship, the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship, will be attending the University of Texas at Austin, Vanessa Rodriguez. <laughs> Graduating number five in the class and senior class president. Recipient of the Baumberger Endowment Scholarship, the University of Texas at Austin Top 10% State Scholarship, the 2013 Frank Price Cunningham and Helen Shipman Cunningham Scholarship, the C.H. Gunther Scholarship, the Fox Tech High School Class of 1964 Gala Scholarship, the San Antonio Bar Association Essay Contest Scholarship, the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship, will be attending the University of Texas at Austin, Isaac J. Gonzalez. <laughs> Graduating number six in the class and senior class vice president, recipient of the Baumberger Endowment Scholarship, the University of Texas at Austin President's Achievement Scholarship, the University of Texas at Austin President's Achievement Enrichment Scholarship, the University of Texas at Austin Top 10% State Scholarship, the Rocco C. Caffarelli Scholarship, the South Texas Mensa Owl Fund Scholarship, the Fox Tech High School Class of 1964 Gala Scholarship, and the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending the University of Texas at Austin, Justin J. Manjares. Graduating number seven in the class, recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship, will be attending San Antonio College, Edgar Ivan Zavala. <laughs> Graduating number eight in the class, Angel F. Rodriguez. Graduating number nine in the class and senior class historian, recipient of the Texas A&M University College Station Challenge Scholarship, the Texas A&M University College Station Regent Scholarship, the Texas A&M University College Station Top 10% State Scholarship, the University of the Incarnate Word Distinguished Scholar Award, the San Antonio Area Retired Teachers Association Scholarship, the Fox Tech High School Class of 1964 Gala Scholarship, and the San Antonio Area San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship, will be attending Texas A&M University College Station, Vanessa Matilda Garcia.
graduating number 10 in the class, recipient of the Texas A&M University College Station Region Scholarship, the Texas A&M University College Station Academic Scholarship, the Texas A&M University College Station Challenge Scholarship, the Texas A&M University College Station Top 10% State Scholarship, the University of the Incarnate Word Distinguished Scholar Award, the University of the Incarnate Word Grant, the Texas State University Top 10% State Scholarship, the Fox Tech High School Class of 1964 Gala Scholarship, the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship, will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, Monica Morales. <laughs> Senior Class Vice President, recipient of the Fox Tech High School Class of 1964 Gala Scholarship, will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, Marina Alyssa Garcia. <laughs> Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, John Anthony Bernal Trevino. Recipient of the Sam Houston State University High School Relations Scholarship will be attending Sam Houston State University, Rodolfo A. Almendares III. <laughs> Recipient of the Harding University Scholarship will be attending Harding, Harding University in Searcy, Arkansas, Jose Alvarado Lopez, Jr. will be attending San Antonio College, Adriel Andre Alvarez. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Debony Armendarez. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending St. Phillips College, Billy Arn. The diplomas will now be presented by Board Secretary Ms. Olga Hernandez. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Judith Ayala. Recipient of the Fox Tech High School Class of 1964 Gala Scholarship will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, Guadalupe Daniel Barba. <laughs> Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Ernesto Gonzalez Barbosa III. Violeta Barbosa. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Christopher M. Bautista. Recipient of the Fox Tech High School Class of 1964 Gala Scholarship will be attending San Antonio Col College, Clarissa Beltran. Will be attending San Antonio College, Jeremy L. Beltran. <laughs> Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Criselda Bernal. <laughs> will be attending San Antonio College, Jonathan Ruben Bustos. will be attending St. Phillips College, Eric Carmona. Yeah. 
recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending St. Mary's University, Angel Vidal Carrillo. David Castillo. Recipient of the Texas Wesleyan University Scholarship will be attending Texas Wesleyan University, Lorena Eonice Castro. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Rodolfo Chapa. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Demetrius Leon Collins Howard. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, Pedro Javier Contreras, Jr. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Martin Cristobal, Jr. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending the University of Houston, Victoria, Daniela Cruz. The diplomas will now be presented by Board Trustee Mr. James Howard. We'll be attending San Antonio College, Lazaro Cruz. <laughs> Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending St. Phillips College, Gustavo Cuellar. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Carlos Eduardo Davila. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Renee Robert Davis. Will be attending San Antonio College, Felipe de la Cruz. Will be attending San Antonio College, Christopher Dees. Julio de Luna. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Gustavo Diaz. Anthony Esparza. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Jose Manuel Flores Contreras. Andres Flores. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending St. Phillips College, Jesus D. Flores. Recipient of the University of Houston at Victoria Guarantee Scholarship will be attending the University of Houston at Victoria, Jasmine Antoinette Gaitan. Recipient of the Fox Tech High School Class of 1964 Gala Scholarship will be attending Texas A&M University College Station, Medardo Garcia Zertuche.
recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship, will be attending San Antonio College, Chrislyn Amber Garcia. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, Ivan Garcia. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Jennifer Garcia. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Giovanni Garcia. <laughs> Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Nancy Garcia. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship, the Fox Tech High School Class of 1964 Gala Scholarship, will be attending Texas A&M University course of Corpus Christi, Narda Garcia. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending St. Mary's University, Nicholas Ray Garcia. Raul J. Garcia III. <laughs> will be attending San Antonio College, Jesus Manuel Garcia III. <laughs> the diplomas will now be presented by board trustee member, Ms. Patty Radel. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Kimberly Garza. Joshua Gloria. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Carrie Ashley Gomez. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, Ileana Gomez. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Selena A. Gonzalez. Selena Gonzalez. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, Christian Guardado. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Ezekiel Wendt. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Brandon Lee Gutierrez. <laughs> will be attending San Antonio College, Carlos J. Hernandez. <laughs> Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending Palo Alto College, Diana Elizabeth Hernandez Regalado. will be attending San Antonio College, Ivan Eric Hernandez. Salvador Hernandez III. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Rosa Hernandez Martinez. will be attending San Antonio College, Christian Inahosa.
recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship, will be attending San Antonio College, Cruz Hinojosa. Matthew House Yanis. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending St. Philip's College, Jose Jaquez Pimentel. The diplomas will now be presented by Board Trustee Ms. Deborah Guerrero. will be attending Northern Illinois University, Josue Jimenez. <laughs> Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Isidro Juarez III. <laughs> Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Victor Manuel Leja. Will be attending San Antonio College, Rodolfo Lira. Recipient of the St. Mary's University Bordeaux Scholarship, will be attending St. Mary's University, Marisa Liscano. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending St. Mary's University, Annalisa Marie Longoria. <laughs> Abraham Lopez. <laughs> will be attending Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi, David Jean Lopez. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending St. Philip's College, Kelly L. Lopez. <laughs> Recipient of the Fox Tech High School Class of 1964 Gala Scholarship will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, Brianna Grace Luera. Jasmine Candice Luna. Richard Timothy Madrigal. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College Guadalupe Maldonado. <laughs> Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending St. Philip's College, Ulysses Maldonado. will be attending San Antonio College, Nancy Araceli Martinez Pinales. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Candace Elizabeth Martinez. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Genevieve Nicole Martinez. <laughs> Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Joe John Martinez. <laughs> Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, Zenon Daniel Martinez, Jr. Thank you. 
recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship, will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, Ashley Serrat Medina. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Juan Jose Mendez Negrete. The diplomas will now be presented by Board Trustee Member, Mr. Steve Leshlope. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Jose Mendez. Will be attending Texas State University, Juan Antonio Mendoza. Will be attending Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi, Mark Anthony Mendoza. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Stephanie Montalvo. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Miriam Guadalupe Morales Juarez. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending St. Philip's College, Jesus Felipe Moreno. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, Ivan Gabriel Munoz. Enlisted in the United States Marine Corps Reserves, Maria Cristina Nino. <laughs> Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Jesus Oranday. <laughs> Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College. Jason A. Ortiz. <laughs> Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Megan Nicole Ortiz. <laughs> Has enlisted in the United States Army Reserve, Eduardo Palacio Cervantes. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Alyssa Michelle Paredes. <laughs> will be attending San Antonio College, Alejandra Peña. <laughs> Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Doris Jeanette Pineda. <laughs> Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Nelda Beatriz Pineda Flores. <laughs> Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Brenda Yvonne Quintero. Luis Quintero. Recipient of the Fox Tech High School Class of 1964 Gala Scholarship will be attending the San Antonio College, Gabriela Adalí Ramírez Morales. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending St. Philip's College, Perla Ramirez. Will be attending San Antonio College, Zachary E. Reyes.
recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship, will be attending San Antonio College, Brianda Rivas. The diplomas will now be presented by Board Trustee Mr. Arthur V. Valdez. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending Palo Alto College, Jeanette Rivera. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Johnny Joe Robles. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending St. Philip's College, Luis Fernando Rocha. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending St. Philip's College, Jacob Luis Rodriguez. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending St. Philip's College, Joylene Suzanne Rodriguez. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Julian Dominic Evander Rodriguez. Will be attending St. Phillips College, Luis Juan Rodriguez. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Mario Alberto Rodriguez. Recipient of the Fox Tech High School Reunion Association Class of 1960 through 1963 Scholarship will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, Stephanie Rodriguez. Enrique Ruiz. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Gino Raul Sainz. Yesenia Victoria Saldivar. Jessica M. Salinas. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, Selene Alejandra Sanchez Santos. Recipient of the Fox Tech High School Class of 1964 Gala Scholarship will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, Valeria Sanchez. Will be attending San Antonio College, David Lee Segovia. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending Palo Alto College, Alexander Sierra. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending Northwest Vista College, Natalia Silva. Will be attending St. Phillips College, Cassandra Marie Solis. Yolanda Marie Solis. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending San Antonio College, Raul Torres Chavarria. Recipient of the C.H. Gunther Scholarship will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, Orfa Jocelyn Trevino. Recipient of the San Antonio 
Education Partnership Scholarship, Kelvin B. Tucker, Jr. Recipient of the San Antonio Education Partnership Scholarship will be attending the University of Texas at San Antonio, Oscar A. Vargas Garcia. Will be attending San Antonio College, Paula Velasquez. Fernando White. Brian Wilter. Recipient of the Fox Tech High School Class of 1964 Gala Scholarship will be attending Concordia College in New York, Sierra Marie Zamaripa. Graduates, please stand. I now present the 2013 graduates of Fox Tech High School. And now, Jacqueline Munoz and John Trevino will lead us in our Fox Tech alma mater. After our alma mater, please remain standing for the benediction. Every great school is built on tradition. One of the most recognizable and cherished traditions is the alma mater. I ask that you join in the singing of the Fox Tech alma mater and remain standing for the benediction given by Senior Class Vice President Marina Garcia.
gentlemen, and the graduating class of 2013, please bow your heads. Our most gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us to our graduation. We thank you for the lessons learned, the battles won, the and the obstacles we have overcome because of you. Through the trials and tribulations that brought us here today, we ask you that you lead us with all confidence into the new stages of our lives. We express gratitude to all those who have given us the strength to accomplish what we have in the last four years. We thank our parents, teachers, and friends who encouraged us, counseled us, and always extended a helping hand when needed. Please see us safely through today, this celebration, and tomorrow as our lives begin. We leave today to go our separate ways, knowing we all met with the purpose. We will always cherish the memories that were made and the things we have learned. Let your grace shine on all of our fellow graduates tonight as we seek to live our lives, long-held dreams. We ask you to guide us all the way. In Jesus' name, amen.